Unit 3 Changes Around Us What is a change? Change is something becomes different from what it was earlier. So, it is observable that the difference between the initial state and the final state of any substance. As we know, change is the law of nature. Change is a thing which keep on changing. We see a lots of changes in a day-to-day -day life, like weather, seasons, when a paper burns, when a nail rusts, when a milk change into a curd, but the vegetable gets softens in a few seconds when it cooked. We say a lots of changes occurs. What happens actually? Yes, there is a change in the properties like the shape, the color, the temperature, position and the composition of the substance. How we can classify the changes? There are a lots of changes occurs in a nature. Some takes a little time, some takes more time, some creates a new substance, some changes its position, some changes are done by human beings, some changes are done by the nature. So we can classify the changes into many categories. Now based on the changes we can classify them into the following differences. Slow and fast change, reversible and irreversible change, physical and chemical changes, desirable and undesirable change, natural and man-made changes. Slow changes and fast changes. The slow changes is one which takes place over a long period of time. It may take hours, days, months and even years. But the fast changes takes place within a short period of time. It may be in seconds or in minutes. So let us see few examples for slow changes and fast changes. Seed germination and growing of hair is an example of slow change. While the bursting of crackers and lighting of a bulb comes under the fast changes. Reversible change. The changes which can be reversed back to its original position. We will call it as a reversible change. For example, we can take as a stretching of a rubber band but the best example would be a touch me not plant. When you touch it, it shrinks. When you leave your hand, it will come back to its normal position. Irreversible change. The changes which cannot be reversed back to its original state, we will call it as irreversible changes. It means we cannot get back the same state. Let us see one best example for irreversible change. Idli batter. After baking of a idli, it is not possible for us to bring it back to a normal batter stage. So this is an irreversible change. Other examples are a burning of a candle and a bursting a balloon. They both cannot bring back to its original state after it is burnt or it is bursted. Physical changes. As the name says physical change, it will change only in the physical appearance of a substance but not in a chemical composition. In physical change, there are no new substance is formed. So let us see a few examples for physical changes. Melting of ice, the solution of salt or sugar and stretching of rubber bands. Let us see the melting of an ice. The ice when heated will get in a liquid form called water. When it is further heated will get a gaseous state called water vapor. When the water vapor is cooled will get back to the liquid state. When it is further cooled will get back to the ice state. So there is a change in the physical state but no new substance a chemical composition is formed. Let us see the change and the process happens in melting of an ice. 
when the ice melts into water on heating we will call it as melting when water into steam on heating we will call it as vaporization the steam into water on cooling we will call it as condensation and finally the water into ice on cooling we will call it as freezing let us learn about a solvent a solute and a solution by mixing sugar with water we will get a new solution so what is a sugar and what is a water so there it is solvent is a substance that dissolved the solute solute is a substance that is dissolved in the solvent to make a solution so solvent is water solute is sugar so finally when a solute is dissolved in a solvent it forms a solution solute plus solvent will give us a solution chemical changes in chemical change there is a permanent change which the change is formed by a new chemical composition and there a new substance is formed for example burning of a wood after that we'll get only ashes we can't get back the wood popping of popcorn we'll get back a popcorn but not the corn back here is an example for chemical change burning of wood popping of popcorns let us see the difference between the chemical change and the physical change in physical change no new substance is formed but in chemical change a new substance is formed in physical change no change in the chemical composition but in chemical change there is a change in an chemical composition physical change is a temporary change because it comes back to its normal stage but in chemical change it is permanent we can't get back to its original state we call physical state as a reversible state while the chemical state as irreversible state desirable changes and undesirable changes the changes which are useful and which is not harmful for our environment we can consider them as a desirable changes but which is harmful to the environment and which is not desired by our human beings we'll call it as undesirable changes so few changes in desirable changes are ripening of a fruit a growth of plant and cooking of food but the desirable changes it will be harmful for our environment as deforestation a rusting of iron so let us see some of the examples with pictures the growth of a plant the ripening of a fruit will not give any harmful effects but the deforestation cutting of trees the rusting of iron will form us harmful natural changes and human made changes the natural changes it takes place by its own without the control of a human being so in natural change there is no implications of the human activities but in man made changes all the activities are done only by human beings we also call this human made changes as artificial changes too so let us see few examples with the pictures the faces of a moon raining all comes under a natural change while cooking and constructions of buildings will come under man made changes as we change the raw food into a cooked and soft one and the bricks and mud into an constructed house so this will be a good example for a man made changes